in this video today we are going to uh, we're going to replace the seats um, I had a video uh, actually it was the same valve and uh, I changed the washers out but uh, it's starting to leak again so we're gonna go back in we're gonna um, check the seats um, the seats are probably torn or scorned Usually when the uh, washers are worn out real quick, that's what happens. Okay, here we have our um, six-way screwdriver with all the size that we need. Phillip, uh, straight edge. This is the seat wrench that we're going to use. And here are those right there are the uh, tub wrenches, sockets, and this is the handle puller just in case we have a handle that's hard to pull off this will make it a lot easier and of course the uh, blue channel lock pliers down there okay we're outside and we're gonna cut the water off to the house because behind the wall there's no separate cut off to cut the tub off so we're gonna cut it off to the house and we're opening it right here just to uh, relieve some of the pressure Okay, now we're back inside, and of course we're going to start by removing the handles. And you do notice that uh, I put a towel down on the uh, tub so that uh, when I'm stepping in and out I don't scar up the bottom of the tub too much. I know it is an older tub and it cut could probably use to be uh, uh, reglazed. Yeah, see these handles are not really on there really tight so I mean I mean they're on tight but they're not to the point where you have to fight to get them off so what we're gonna use this anyway just to show you how it works it's, uh, the handle pullers oh the those guys out there that are watching this that are car mechanics they're probably familiar with this process because this is the same process that they use to remove your steering wheel off your uh, off your car when they need to replace the steering wheel or uh, do some work in the dash. Okay, once we get this in place we start cranking down on it. And we just keep cranking down until it pulls the handle right off, off the, like that. And another purpose for the uh, towel down in the uh, tub is to prevent anything from falling down into the drain. We're, doing, we're going to try to cover the drain as much as we can. I mean, it's easy to drop our screw to fall right down the drain. Okay, we just removed the escutcheons. They're called escutcheons. This is the, those are the uh, decorative parts of the uh, faucet. And now here we're using the uh, tub wrenches, which are just like sockets. And we're going to find the right one to fit this one. With the socket wrench, you don't have to worry about trying to reach in there with a uh, regular wrench trying to get this off. Uh, socket wrench makes it a lot easier. Okay, you can see that washer. That washer still looks pretty good. And there's still a little water coming out of here. I'm going to just put this on in for a minute. Get the water a chance to drain down some.
looks good. So the only thing left is a bad seat. Okay, we're going to open it up and relieve uh, a lot more pressure. Let it drain here into the tub. So the next time we pull the stem off, we don't have so much water coming out. get as much water out of the lines as we can and what I had to do is come out into the uh, garage area and turn it off at the water heater because the hot water is starting to siphon out of the tank into the house so this will stop that a little more let it as much as we can come out through the uh, spout right there See that washer? It looks good. Now we're going to shine the light <coughs> also up into the hole. And let's see if we can see that stem. And I do apologize for this um, video because this is a new camera that I'm working with and I'm trying to learn my focus on it. Okay, there's still a little water coming out of here. Tell you what, uh, once I pull the seat out, you'll see uh, what I'm talking about. I will be able to give you the view that I wanted to give you. But this is the uh, seat wrench, which we're going to put in here and just turn the seat. seat okay let's see what we can see on the uh, hot side and for those of you that don't know hot is always on the left and cold is always on the right
looking at the seat, I know you cannot see it as well as I see it, uh, but there are some scar marks on the top of it. And this is the uh, issue with the leakage. As long as you have marks and it's scarred up on the seat, it will leak through and it would prematurely uh, wear your washers out. Here I went to the store, of course, Home Depot, one of my favorite, everybody else's. This is a good uh, screwdriver to get. Uh, it's a uh, six-way screwdriver and you've seen the price right there. <coughs> the uh, channel locks that I've been using you can see the price right there the $13.97 one and now we're into the uh, section where the uh, faucet parts are and we're going to pick out a kit a repair kit that matches what we have in there and we so happen to have a Price Fister uh, faucet and these are the uh, books that they have at the stores that if you need to match up your uh, stem, if you need a new stem, you just go through the book and uh, find a stem that looks just like yours and just line it up and that's all you need to do. I mean, you can always ask for assistance, but uh, if you can't find anybody, at least you have the opportunity to see for yourself. Now I'm not going to play replace this stem. It's pretty good, but I'm just showing you um, how I uh, go to the store and we can match them up and get the one that fits just what we need. Now, if you don't know the name brand of your uh, faucet, that's that's okay because once you match it up here, you're going to see it's going to say Price Fista. This particular one, anyway. was pretty close there we go right there right there see that matches up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that one if we were gonna get a stem and that is the well I guess it says the hot and the cold are the same stems uh, some faucets have different hot and cold sides okay now <coughs> if you're trying to find a new handle you can always go to the store and they have these little tools where you can measure, uh, size it up and see what uh, fits your uh, stem that you have on there and it's going to match up with your uh, handle. And once you get the uh, right one, you take that letter, which is going to be a letter on there, and then you just go find it right on the side there. Uh, I think this one here turned out to be... Get what this one turned out to be, but uh, of course I don't need any new faucets. I mean, uh, handles. <coughs> so I think it was an H. I'm not sure, but we're gonna go through the handle section, and here are you have universal handles. I really wouldn't recommend those. Those wear out too quick. Uh, I would. Uh, recommend that you get the close to the original uh, faucet handles you can and see that's the letter C if we had a matched up with the C that's what we would want so I'm just kinda scouring around trying to identify a uh, handle that would match the one that I have. I think I see something. to the right right here they look just about just like the uh, exact same uh, 
handles that I do have. And now we're going to something else. The aerator. This aerator here was pulled off the uh, kitchen sink. And this is the way to match up your aerator. If you need to change the aerator out, you bring it to the store and they have a chart here. And you find the one that uh, fits. And you just go by the uh, numbers or lettering that they have and match them up. And now we're over into the tool section. There's the handle puller, $10.48, just in case you need one. Here's the seat wrench, $6.87, in case you need one. And this is another type of seat wrench. <coughs> and of course right here you see the uh, tub wrenches 1997 okay now we're back to the uh, job site let's start putting this stuff back together new seat you can see the big difference now you can see it now you can see how the uh, the other seats kind of scarred up at the front part there see they kind of match up really good Now, some of you out there, if you don't have a, uh, a tub and shower faucet similar to this, you, you, you're probably going to be lucky because this one here has got some long handles and they're kind of in the way of the uh, seat wrench. <coughs> but uh, we'll get it in there anyway. We'll just have to take our time. Now you can see how the seat sits up in there. That's a better view. Now that I've got it started, I'm going to go ahead and go all the way and get this tightened in there. And um, make sure that you do get the right seat. I mean, because those also come in different sizes and for different brands. Uh, if you get the... Uh, the wrong seat you can get one that's a little too small a little too large it's gonna fit in there if it's too large it's gonna strip anything out and then you really got problems if it's too small it's not gonna um, hold any water it's gonna continue to leak Make sure that when uh, you put the stems back in, that the valves are all the way open. 
and what I'm t loosening here is the uh, this is the packing nut I'm gonna change that out also if you ever have a leak that's right behind your uh, faucet handle uh, you ever notice that coming from up on the like the discussion part usually it's due to this right here this packing set stem sometimes it'll get loose or sometimes it needs to be repacked but uh we're gonna put some new ones on we're gonna put new packing in here that came with the uh, kit and when I speak of packing I'm just talking about it's similar to having a washer Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm pulling the stem back out because um, it's going to make it a little easier for me to put that packing on there from out here. that packing nut what it does it compresses down on the packing itself and once it packs down on it it kind of squishes it together and that what that's what keep keeps it sealed from water uh, coming out through the uh, behind your handles and discussion if you ever have a mysterious leak behind the wall check this first And that little that plastic piece I took off is just more or less a guide and a um, a way of holding the uh, scutcheon in place. You can also buy those separate if you need any. Yeah, we just want to be kind of gentle when we go to uh, line this up and try to screw it in there because we don't want, to, want it to get cocked in there and crossed it or anything like that. And once we feel comfortable, well, it's going good, then we'll just go forward and tighten it up. there you see the new packing right here on the stem that rubbery tire looking piece of uh, rubbery piece right there now we're sliding it back and it slides up and then we're going to squeeze it up in that hole with a uh, screwdriver uh, 
guess you can see why they call it packing. Because we have to pack it back in there. And now we take our packing nut and go ahead and tighten it up. And again, this packing prevents water from leaking and coming out through the stem on the back side of your escutcheon or handle. Again, if you ever see water coming out the uh, back side of the escutcheon or the handle, this is the cause. It's the uh, packing nut is either loose or needs to be repacked. And again, if there's mysterious water coming out the wall from the back side of your tub, it's usually the uh, packing nut and the water's rolling back to the uh, back side where you can't even see it. Now we're going to turn the water back on. So we're going to start with the water heater. Turn the Once we turn the water on, we want to turn it on slowly. You see, I didn't, don't want to just turn it on immediately right away, all full pressure. And what I've done before I even done this is I went to, there was another tub in this house at the farther end. So what I did is open the water at that tub so that the pressure coming into the house would go straight through the system and out through the uh, further side of the house clearing all the lines so that you won't have any stoppages on um, any of the other sinks when the uh, calcium and stuff comes through and starts to clog up your uh, aerators. And that's not blood, that's just a little um, rust from the uh, pulling the uh, stems out. And one thing about the packing, uh, when you do put the packing nut back, don't put it back too tight because if you do, you're going to have a hard time turning your uh, handles, turn the water off and on. So you just want to do it just right uh, where it's uh, comfortable enough to turn uh, the handles. With you. Even though I have the, uh, they had the packing nut out, it's still holding water back because we have brand new packing and it's really packed tight up in there. But after um, years of constant wear, those packing uh, will tend to uh, wear out. So what I've done is I uh, checked everything with the handles first before I uh, put the escutcheons uh, back on, just in case. And once everything checks out, we just start putting everything back together. 